So I think we're gonna have to take Evie to the pound because nobody loves her. <laughs> she got up and went to the restroom and then she has to come right back out here and either get in the chair, hi mister, or she gets in her little bed. Like, oh, she's not a morning dog or an afternoon dog or an evening dog. She's a sleepy dog. I'll let you sleep. And you, you're just a sweetie, aren't you? So here's Jason's room. It's a mess, but we have a project we're gonna do today. So here's one of them. I got Jason a surround sound system because originally, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Jason, he's so messy now. He didn't used to be messy, but now he's crazy messy. So I had gotten him a massage chair and it was like a bougie nice massage chair and he ended up not liking it because it wasn't massaging like where he wanted it to so i got him a surround sound system so what we're going to do that's like one of the back speakers put together i gotta put the other one together move my plants over and get like it's got like a sound bar i don't know he's very excited uh it was a nice brand and so this is what we're gonna be doing today. Hopefully I'm not making you dizzy. I feel like sometimes when people are walking and that type of thing, it's like mm, mm, mm. <laughs> So, I always do one of two things in the morning. This is my new thing I've been doing. If you watched any of the day in the lives in the past, you know that I normally, normally, sit upstairs in my grandkid room and do my Bible study. But, while we have good weather, and if I do it early in the morning and it's not too hot, it's been so hot here. Um, I uh, do my walk and I listen to my Bible study and that's been really helpful. So I'll tell you, <laughs> I'm probably gonna sound like a terrible person, but if you're ever having a book of the Bible that you're struggling to get through, reading it on your own, listen to it. And it just kinda, kinda helps a lot, so. <laughs> That's what I do, because I'm, I'm in a book that sure seems like it's going on and on. But anyway, I'm going to do this and listen to my Bible study, and then we'll get back. Wait until you see my kitchen. It is crazy. Ooh, get to the sunny part. <laughs> but anyway. Isn't that what most people do? They wake up in the morning and they put a, a microphone on their shirt? Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? There goes your tea jar. Uh oh. I don't know how you can find anything in this messy kitchen. Mm-hmm. It's very messy. Yeah. Uh, I made a bet with Jason and I won. And the winning was that he was going to do the dishes. I didn't say when. <laughs> so now they've been sitting and the kitchen has been trashed for a day. And I'm like, dude. So anyway, we're, we're going to leave here at 1030. Mm. Sound good? Can we leave at half past 10? Yeah. Does that sound better? Sure. Okay. What if it's 1031? No, you don't get none of that. <laughs> I don't drink coffee, but I love the smell of it. That's for sure. Uh. Here you go. You wanted some cheese? I was showing everybody your room out there. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> well, I was showing them. It's, it's messy. But there's a reason why. And it's gonna be really cool. And guess what? It's coming today. It's out for delivery. Finally. Yes. So, we can get it put together. Yeah. Are you pumped? Yeah. Take Ooh. care of my light work here. Oh my goodness, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here, kid, you bother me. Oh, yeah. How'd you sleep? I think I slept pretty good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. When you're um, in the chiropractor, yeah. I'm running into Target really quick. Okay, I thought you were gonna go to the Quilting Hall of Fame. I, I mean, you know I love me some Quilting Hall of Fame, but I'm gonna have to pass. Uh, but yeah, I'm running into Target really quick, mm -hmm. so it's a long story, but I'm going in there to get the shampoo that I'm looking for. Okay. Well. Are you actually gonna unload that now? Yeah. I was like, dude, you need to have some coffee Thank first. You. Don't get crazy. 
And now that I realize this is a two-part step, that may have to wait till tomorrow. Dude, <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Really? You know you have a microphone on and everyone can hear you and you're, oh yeah. <sighs> I bet it seems really dark to everybody because I don't have filming lights on right now. Mm. And there's no morning sun in here. Ain't nobody got time for that. Did you take everybody on an adventure for your tomatoes? I'm going to. He's very proud of our tomatoes. Oh, no. I am too. And my singular purple flower out front. <laughs> I'll have to show him that. Maybe we have like someone who's a, a gardener that can tell us a little bit more about what's happening. Well, you looked it up and it's... It's, it's coming, but it's just... Oh, it's right now, coming. I feel like Forrest Gump going shrimp as a shrimp boat captain. I got five. <laughs> Oh, you have a shelf shrimp cocktail. We have one flower. Oh my goodness. Hey, you left those steaks out, so I put them oh, in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Okay. they're in here. So, we're gonna have some steak for dinner tonight. Yep. Oh. I was like, why am I filming on a Monday? I have to do my infusion tonight, too. Yeah, let's see a real, real, mm -hmm. real day of the life. We'll probably, yeah, we'll probably like not show no. you that. Then I would unsubscribe. Uh, oh, I did do not listen to him. <laughs> We're gonna keep it real. No one wants to see needles. Yeah, everybody wants to see. Well, you can skip the needle part. Yeah. It's the how drunk I am. Yeah, the, <laughs> look in the chair that you get. Thanks, Jay. Thanks. But you look like that every day. <laughs> Messing with you. Uh, you're done. This girl the back here, the one I said needed to go to the pub, has done nothing but Vegas for a million. She, she woke up hungry. Are you so hungry? Look at she her. woke and got me out of bed. I didn't know you were gone. Well, I, I didn't expect you honestly to get I up. I wasn't planning on it, but somebody was insistent. Maybe I was missing her mama because I went for my walk. And I thought she had to go to the bathroom, so I was like, all right, come on. And she darted out and ran down the road. I'm like, oh. Yeah. After she told Bear who was the boss. Oh yeah, she definitely, she thinks she's the boss, but she would die. Did, she didn't get scared of Bear? She usually gets scared. They were already on the porch. Oh, okay. Well, it's like usually if he's out, she runs back pretty quick. All right. All right, let me know. Are you hungry yet? No, I just got up and I wasn't ready to, but let me know when you got this all set and I'll uh, come in here and take credit. Okay, great. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some breakfast, so let me know when you're hungry. Oh, you're making more dishes? I see what you're doing. I'll, I'll, use, a, I'll use a paper plate just for you. You're doubling down. <laughs> yeah, I better get them all in if you're doing the dishes. All right, I'm going out here. All right, goodbye. Be safe, have fun. Go out to your messy room and enjoy. All right, the odds of Jason doing the dishes is about zero. <laughs> I made the bet. So Jason used to be the dishes guy, and now, no, definitely not anymore. So I made a bet. He couldn't find something, and I was like, I bet you if I can find it, um, which is kind of cheating, because he has a little big trouble finding things. But anyway, and I was like, hey, if I can find it, you have to do the dishes. He's like, okay, I don't think you're gonna be able to find it. I found it, and um, anyway, yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and get started doing these dishes because otherwise they're never gonna get done and I cannot stand how messy it is in here. It's eight, it's around eight in the morning and so I'm gonna do the dishes, have some breakfast, I have some work I need to do and then we're gonna leave for Jason's thing. So I didn't say it in front of him, but you guys are gonna laugh at when I'm running to get in Target and you have to tell me if you guys have seen it, tried it, if you like it, but um, the Betty Brown uh, shampoo came out by Blake Lively and I'm a big shampoo hair girl. I always love to try new things and so I'm like ah so I took a shower last night and I was like dang I wanted that shampoo but that's okay and so I'll try it out tomorrow because I do not shower on the night that I um, do my infusions. I know it's so silly I'm like well, TMI why am I telling you this but but I always get the chills really bad and so if I shower in the evening it just makes it ten times worse so I'm like yeah no not good that's not gonna happen so um, I'll have to like make sure you're following over on Instagram I'll let you know what I think of this shampoo supposedly it's supposed to be so great and I got a lot of hair to test it out on so we'll see 
What do you guys think is worse? Unloading the dishwasher or loading the dishwasher? I, I don't know. I hate putting clean dishes away, but yet I think I like it better than doing the dirty dishes. So maybe I'll unload the dishwasher and put the clean dishes away and then see if I can get into two. <laughs> the dirty dishes. Dishes are done. Well, except my breakfast dishes. We help take care of our 92 year old neighbor that lives across the street. And him and Jason are really good friends. And I'm gonna go, it's trash day here in our neighborhood. And so I'm gonna go remind Jason to go over there and put Don's trash out really quick. And then he needs to get in the shower because he needs a shower for you as a chiropractor. And I need to go put some makeup on, um, just a little bit. I'm really not gonna get like super done up today because it's just not one of those days. Although I am filming an Instagram reel later and I try not to look like complete trash. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a little more makeup on than I was planning on it. Anyway. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you guys see how effortlessly I was able to put this dishes on? Yeah, you did a great job on the dishes. <laughs> Will you put the walk away for me? What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> What have you been doing? <coughs> Throwing up the entire time I've been out there. What caused you to get sick? Air. Well, that's lovely. Like, was something gross in the trash can? No. What in the world? I in the boxes. <sighs> All right, well, you answered the question. You're definitely not gonna want breakfast. Yep. Are you okay? I'm glad you haven't taken your medicine yet. Man, you're sweating. Yeah, it was. <sighs> All right, well. Once I got started, right, you know, you can't stop. <sighs> I'm glad nobody's walking down the street because that was. Nobody was? Okay, that's good. Yeah. Well. I'm gonna walk down to Don's and do his trash. Yes. And then. Uh, Take a shower. Yeah, what time is it? It's 9.30. Are we leaving in an hour? Yeah. Dang, son. All right, let's see if I can get this out of the way. Hello? Let's see, was she there last week, last Monday? Then, yes, I believe it would be today. It's every other, you know what I mean? Yes, so like noonish or so. Does he need groceries? Made a list, okay, awesome, bye. That was your day. Yeah, I knew he always makes sure that he takes his phone when he goes across the street because he almost always calls me or something because, yeah. <laughs> I think when we get in the car here in a little bit, um, I'll see if he wants to do like an update and just kind of see if he, he's, he's in a really good mood. I mean, he's been in a really good mood. We've got his medicine like on the good level and, but there's like so many other things going on that I'm curious if he would want to talk about it. He's pretty silly today, so he'll probably just be silly about it, but we could see. Um, if you guys are new here and you don't know what we're talking about, I'm, the majority of you guys that are gonna watch this are like, like people who've been here with us through everything. Jason has early onset dementia and it's just been quite the journey of ups and downs. We're on this roller coaster and you don't ever get to get off. So it's always an adventure around here. I was sitting here and I was going through uh, like my calendar for the week and everything. And I am so happy to see that I have a therapy appointment with BetterHelp coming up later in the week. I have to give them a huge shout out and a big thank you for sponsoring today's video because not only is it something that, yeah, they sponsored the video, but they like changed my life. They like, <laughs> I know that sounds dramatic. When you're able to have a licensed therapist speak to you from the comfort of your own home, I don't really get to leave Jason often, very rarely. Maybe a little bit here and there to run to the store or something like that. 
But my life is very strategic and very planned out. And when I'm going to be gone for longer periods of time, I have to have people who watch him, keep an eye on him. And so to be able to, to have some self care and to take care of myself is the best way I can think about it. Because when you're a caregiver, you, you have to take care of yourself. If you're not taking care of yourself, then you can't take care of the loved one that you're taking care of. And so to be able to sit here, I always do mine like right here on my laptop to sit here and talk with a licensed therapist who I always tell you guys when I'm talking about better help gives me an unbiased view. And what I mean by that, that makes it so nice is sure. I talk to my friends and I talk to my family and I tell them what, Oh, Jason did this or, Oh, this is happening. And you know, you can get pretty woe is me sometimes and it's okay to get woe is me, but you don't always like to sit there and tell everybody else about that because that just doesn't feel good. But when you have someone who is on the outside, they don't know anybody or anything other than the things that you get to tell them. It is so nice. It is so nice to get advice, ideas. Uh, she helps me, uh, do like obtainable goals to get to a place in my mind and what I need to emotionally. And it's been, it's been fantastic. And so I'm just going to encourage you. If you have ever felt like you needed to talk to a therapist for any reason, I talk to her about all kinds of things, not just Jason, because you know, we all have other things that go on in our lives. Just know that they are there and it's so convenient and you don't have to leave your home. And so cool part about it is. So there's three different ways that you can talk to them. You can do it through like phone, you can do it through messaging and you can do it through like video chat. So there's all different options. Maybe you don't like to look at people and you just want to talk to them on the phone so they can't see your face. This is a really great option for you. So I highly encourage you to let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can support you in whatever you're going through, all from the comfort of your own home. I'm going to leave a link down in the description box, or you can head to betterhelp.com slash a charming abode, and you will receive a special discount on your first month. And a big, big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. All right. Now. As you can tell, I got my makeup and my hair done. And so Jason is on his way back and we're going to get ready to head out and I'll see if he'll do that little update in the car. Fingers crossed. I love to hear like his point of view, like how he feels like things are going. <laughs> it's not always how I feel like things are going. All right. So we're in the car and I was telling everybody before we left that I was going to see if you do a quick little chat, a little update on kind of like your, from your perspective, of kind of like how you feel like you've been doing. Like, honestly. Oh. Not, I, I even said he's probably gonna be silly. All right, well, honestly, I am losing more things, forgetting more things, um, making more messes, um, but I've calmed down on my uh, auctioning. Yes. You have. He's gotten it together where he's not being so out of control with like auctioning and trying to spend money and everything. So you're doing a really good job there. I was telling everybody your mood has been really good. We got you at a really good level right now. And yep. I, that's been good. Yeah. Because if you're in a good mood, it just makes... I agree. What do, what do you think? I agree. Okay. <laughs> like the camera's all on me. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you on the fact that... My sweating is still out of control. Your sweating is out of control. You still vomit all the time. Um, but only for 30 to 40 minutes a day. Oh, yeah. Your memory has... Whoa. Like... Like, like almost better? <laughs> mm -hmm. No, like, whoa, mama. It's, it's one of those things where if you don't laugh, you cry. Because, like, some of the things are like, what? And so that part's been a little interesting to navigate from my side of the view. Yeah, I don't notice anything. <laughs> anything else other than that? You just know you just know your memory and everything's doing really bad. Yeah. Um, I sweat a lot, which I'm gonna mention 75 times, but I mean it's mis it's been miserably hot and humid, and that's not helping, but you know. So if I'm doing something, for example, I was putting together a, 
which I'll show you later. There's these new speakers I got in the air conditioned room with the air conditioner blowing on me. The mere fact that I'm doing something and it's dripping off of my face, it seems to be excessive. It does. I just thought of something. You forgot something? Did you forget the nut? Nope, to my pocket. You got it in your pocket! Oh, oh my goodness, okay! Now that is a miracle. <laughs> I've learned, I only have myself to blame, yep. that I rely on you to remember anything. So usually I'm like, oh man, okay, yay Jason. <laughs> anyway, well thank you for giving us an update. Uh, let's see, what else? We are going to go to the chiropractor. Yes. And then we're going to go listen to what Sam's Club says we need this morning. Oh, okay, yes, yes. We're getting the some groceries for our neighbor. We don't really need that much from Sam's. Blasphemy. Jason always thinks we need things from Sam's. Uh, I want to get some uh, chicken thighs for my General Tiso's recipe. General Tiso's? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love when you say it like that. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright. Word up. Word up. stuff in from Sam's Club. Yay, yay. Girl, what are you doing? Are you like, excuse me, you're home. Give me something to eat. Don't tell dad. We're gonna have a bite of his turkey. Here you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is Jason's lunch meat he just got. I think Evie needs a little bit of turkey. Oh, here comes Mr. So does he. All right, I'm gonna get these groceries put away and then I'm gonna eat some lunch. I'm starving. I'm absolutely starving. Jason ate pizza there and that's not on my calorie count right now. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna eat a little bit of the rotisserie chicken. Why are you sweating so bad? This is normal. <laughs> You're a weirdo. What'd you go do? Nothing. You're yeah, crazy. Evie, I gotta divide up these pork chops. You need to chill and wait. She don't know what that means. She doesn't. So every Monday, like I do my infusion, it's currently 1.30 in the afternoon now. Dang. How are we gone so long? We left here at 10.30, it's point is 11. Yeah, I guess by the time we did all that, went to Sam's, went to the grocery store for our neighbor, which I did not film. We dropped the groceries off over at his house. I didn't film that. I didn't feel comfortable putting him in the video. Um, although he probably wouldn't have cared. And, um, but yeah, so I set my medicine out. I have a dachshund for sale. She's cute, she's sassy. She costs a million dollars because she eats that much food. <laughs> anyway, I've set my medicine out because it has to, uh, be room temperature when I do it later tonight. And then also something weird is I have to take three different antihistamines and so I have to like stagger them throughout the day in order to be able, cause my body does not like this infusion. So, um, I mean, it likes it, it's doing a good job, but it does not, whew, it reacts crazy. So I have to do three different antihistamines in order to not swell up like a crazy lady. So I need to do those two really quick. And like I said, I need to stop and eat some lunch. I had to show Jason's back. It always was like, dude. So she does cupping and scraping and all these things to help Jason with his back. And it's always like, dang, it looks painful, but you say it makes you feel better. There they are in all their glory. <laughs> it's my first year ever growing anything in a garden. Look at this baby. This is what she does. She sunbathes and she watches for the dog next door to come out so she can bark at him like she's some big bad dog, but she's not. So I shouldn't have any one, like any of them ready to pick right now. I just picked them yesterday. I'm doing that thing. I see a whole, I mean, I have a whole bunch of green ones. Holy manoli. But I just picked all the red ones yesterday or close to being red. <coughs> I'm doing that little thing where, whoa, I'm doing that little thing where you um, take them off when they're like close 
and then you put them in the brown paper bag. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, there's so many. And then over on the other side over here, I have like a ton of peppers. I don't even know if you can see them. There, you can kind of see some, but there's a ton in here. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. My daughter said something kind of cool the other day that it was like, okay, that's true. She's like, mom, you can no longer say that you don't have a green thumb because you have, a, you know, like I've officially grown things. Cause I don't know, you guys probably seen in the past, I'm always talking about how I don't have a green thumb, but this year I grew things. I kept all my plants alive. I am like, yeah. And you know what I had to do in order to do it? Water everything. <laughs> That's it. I just needed to water everything. What'd you find? Huh? Oh boy, she's gonna start rolling. You watch. Here she goes. <laughs> oh, Evie, you're so predictable. Look at you. Yeah, get your, get your dead bug. Your dead worm usually perfume on. Why are you so cute? What are you rolling on? Okay. Do you need me to hold? Uh, yeah, can you hold this side for me just to be safe? Mm -hmm. Which side? Whichever side you grab. I'll come over here. Okay, got it? Mm -hmm. I'm proud of him for still being able to do some projects, even if it'll take him multiple tries. Um, but he does know his limits and he knows that there's many things that he can't do anymore. We've had, woo, some, we've learned that lesson the hard way. <laughs> but anyway, so while he's out there doing that, I am going to film an Instagram reel and it's gonna be adorable. These are the cutest little things, check these out. So wait, let me grab a glass. Okay, they are, look at that, little charcuterie boards that can go on your cup. So say you're having a get together, you have these set out and then the person can come up and you know, say they have their wine glass or they, these do fit other glass types and they you know, wanna eat the charcuterie board but they don't have an extra hand. It goes on your glass and then you can just eat the charcuterie. I think these are so cute. I got them off of Amazon and I'm like, I've got to do an Instagram reel about these because they're really fun. Okay, I went and grabbed some more glasses. So say you just have like normal glasses, it fits in there or, okay, so I was showing this size, man, look at the spots on there, showing this size wine glass. Well, this one is a smaller one, but what it does, instead of going down inside, it has like this little lip and then it still can fit on there. How cool is that? So, I don't know, it's really fun. If you ever, and if, I'll, put, I'll link these down below. If you decide to get any for just like a fun little get together, maybe you're gonna have a girls night or maybe you guys play Bunko. Do people still play Bunko? Oh, we used to play Bunko all the time. I don't know, but anyway, it's just super fun and something different. All right, you got, help. you need help? Oh yeah, I can do that. Have you seen these muscles? Yeah, and you would. Where, where is the day going? I know. Oy, oy, oy. Oy, okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna look so much better. Yeah. Okay, there. And... Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. I understand. There's pepperonis up here. There's cheese up here. Oh, look at this. How handy is this? How fun for a party. You just go around, eat, and then you don't have to worry about it. And then if you do want to drink, I don't drink wine. We're just pretending. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong if you want to drink some wine. I just can't drink with my medicine. And then you just put it back on here. There you go, and you got your free hand to eat your little charcuterie and be like, okay, I'm being silly. I'm actually oddly feeling kind of sick. I don't know. It's Monday. Sometimes this happens where it's time to get the medicine and like the week's worth of medicine has run out and I start to feel really sick and I'm starting to feel like that. So I'm gonna go sit down for a few minutes anyway and just be comfortable and uh, 
like edit my Instagram reel to put out here in a little bit. Give this dog some attention because you know she gets no, no attention, none. And, uh, and then we'll see what we'll see what Jason needs help with. Oh, he's watching a video on how to do it. Yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go lay down for a minute. So I got that one worked for perfectly. So that one, she walked me through it. I did the same steps with that and got it working. So I'm about to do that with this. Okay. Um, I was wondering, do you want me to salt the steaks? Oh, I forgot all about the steaks. I I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I know you're not. Do what you, am I? Right? I have the baked potatoes cooking. If you, you don't want to eat? No? Is this making you crabby? Yeah. Alright, well I'll just eat the baked potato then. And maybe I'll eat a little bit more rotisserie chicken. You're gonna have less chicken, I'm telling you, for your chicken salad. I'm sorry. You alright with that? I didn't get to film it, but I went out there earlier after I got up from resting. It's super crabby. It's 5.10 now, so he's been trying. He hasn't had a nap. He's trying to get this to work. I want, I want to go out and see if I can make it work, but I don't, I don't think he'll let me right now. He'll eventually like give up and ask me for help, so I usually just have to wait because he has a lot of trouble like finishing a project. Anyway, now he doesn't want dinner. <sighs> I am going to eat and then I did not get very much done today. I feel like all I did was run around, make a reel and start to feel sick. And I still do, I have the chills really bad. So that's kind of no fun, but um, I'm gonna eat this and then take my other medicine to get ready to do my infusion. So, and if you're new here and you're like, what kind of infusion are you doing? <laughs> I just realized that I just been talking about it, just assuming that you knew what it was, but I think the majority of you guys know about it. Um, I have an immune deficiency. And so every week for two hours, I um, have an infusion done to give uh, some, pretty much getting IgG, it's other people's immune system, put, it's just the easiest way to explain it, put into me to help me from getting sick because um, I don't have an immune system so I was getting sick all the time my whole life and yeah I have a video on it if you ever want to learn about it I'll put it up here and you can read all about my or watch all about my health journey oh my goodness I'm yawning and now I bet you're yawning <laughs> so all you got left is the subwoofer wonder, and that's the best part that gives you like the wonder what's wrong is it something I can help you with no no. I just have to call them and I don't have the energy to call them again. I figure. It's late and you, I'm not being mean, but you never had a nap. You've never anything today. This lady, I asked on Instagram if everyone, like, did you watch the season finale of House of the Dragon? And what did you think? Were you like annoyed or whatever, or anything? And um, she messaged me and told me that I wasn't being a good example to those like for the Lord by talking about that. <laughs> the level of perfection that is expected, the amount of judgment that is given. How, how, oh Can we all just get along. <laughs> it's just a TV show. But I think the biggest thing is like I I I don't like, I'm so thankful that all I, all I am is a sinner saved by grace. And every single person is a sinner. And I certainly don't have time to go around and point out everyone else's sin to them. And so, yeah, I try to be a good example. It makes me so sad. I try to let my light shine. But people always want to, like, find faults in everyone. Do unto others as you would have done unto you. How would she like it if someone sat there under a microscope? She, there's, she, there's no way she doesn't have sin in her life. But to call me out over something so silly, people forget we're real people. I'm sorry. I'm upset because I don't feel good and so it's making me more sensitive. Anyway, thanks for letting me boohoo to you. 
But of course, it's one of the horns to make you feel better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is my little medicine cart and I keep like all my supplies in it for uh, my infusions because it makes it so nice and handy. Then every Monday evening I just wheel this out and can just set it up and get everything like hooked up and ready to go. I will tell you, I have learned some crazy stuff doing these infusions on myself can be like compared to being like a NICU nurse because being a NICU nurse, you know, you're population is so fragile and so tiny and we had to be so sterile and this is just so weird to me that when I first began I was doing everything all super sterile and then I realized after kind of the problems that I was having with um, how my body wasn't liking it it didn't have anything to do with it being sterile but talking to the nurses like at the pharmacy who do this type of thing all the time um, I just need to be clean, I don't need to be sterile, and I get to do weird things that I've never even knew as a nurse that you could do, only because that was not my like scope of practice. But anyway, I will go into detail, but most people would be like, huh? <laughs> I'll geek out over that kind of stuff because I love nursing stuff still to this day. I always will I'll always be a nurse. I'm never going to let my license go. And I hope one day that I can go back to it in some capacity of some form. I can't work in like a hospital setting or, you know, settings where there's like a high prevalence of illness because of my condition now. Um, I mean, I can, but it's highly suggested not to. So uh, I think one day, there's all kinds of things that you could do, but I would like to maybe work on the other side of this as a nurse who helps people do these types of infusions and get going and all that kind of stuff. Because to me, this was like super easy because this was, this was my job. So it was like a no brainer. But for someone who isn't in, you know, a medical field to like do these types of things, I feel like it could be really difficult. So I would love to be on the other side and help other people who have what I have. And I don't know, I thought maybe that could be like an encouragement to those type of people and, and yeah. So anyway, that's kind of my goal for later on down the line when hopefully I get to go back to nursing one day. All right, I'm gonna get hooked up. I'm not gonna show you, that's not pleasant. It's three different needles. It's one in each thigh and then one in my stomach. And then it's a 60 mil syringe full of the fluid. It goes through the line and then it infuses into the body, it takes two hours, and it always makes me go to sleep because I just took my medicine. Um, between the three different antihistamines, and then I have to take Tylenol now and stuff ibuprofen, which makes me so mad. <laughs> it's because I got an ulcer. <laughs> and so now I can't take ibuprofen. But I have to take two Benadryl, so like 50 milligrams of Benadryl, and I don't know if you've ever taken two Benadryl at one time, but whoa that is uh, make sure i'm about to knock you out so I'm gonna, and i'm already tired because i don't feel very well so i'm gonna go do that there are so many things in this day i didn't get to show you um i guess we purchased the wrong subwoofer so jason didn't get to finish his project he's um he's out there asleep right now uh, i knew he would i knew he'd be done for the day really early but i'm glad you guys got to see him a lot and he uh on camera was happy most of the time. Um, off camera, there were a few times he was super crabby and that's okay. Other than that, he was doing really great today. It was a really good day today and I'm so glad that I got to share that with you guys. And thank you for being just a big part of our lives and just making it possible for me to stay here and be with Jason and always keep an eye on him and, and even take care of myself like this. I'm emotional today. <laughs> I am now. Do you guys ever, when you don't feel well, get all kinds of emotional? That's how I am. I was fine this morning. You guys have been here for the whole day. Ooh. And now I'm just, and now he got the bossy. How many times has she done this today? Come here. No, come here. Let's put this woman who thinks she needs to be the star of the show. Are you the star of the show? That girl, I love my little dachshund, but she is one sassy, sassy, bossy girl. And she gets away with it because I let her do it because I love her. But 
I wouldn't even let my own kids act like that. Why do I let her act like that? <laughs> Anyway, I'm sorry I was all emotional earlier. Things like that just like get me bent out of shape because I always think of that meme where it's like, I'm just doing my best, I'm just doing my best. And it's just like, that's all we can do is we can try to do our best. And so I hope, I hope you guys do also. And if you need help, go check out BetterHelp because uh, there, there, that's a great avenue of something to help you out with any any kind of issues that you're going through. So make sure you check out the link that's down in the description box. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys next Sunday and thank you for being here. Bye-bye.